Um, <laughs> this is our last available day before we leave for Florida. I will be free for, or busy for the rest of the week. And you know I couldn't just stay home during that time. But uh, of course, it's like 35 degrees, actually snowing, and um, really windy and cold. So I'm probably not gonna be here for too long. But I'm at an awesome spot that has some cool ammonite, so let's just see what we can do. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is freezing. Not a nice ammonite, but oh my gosh, it is so cold. I may actually wimp out, you guys. It's hard to ignore the cold when I'm picturing myself on a Florida beach in like four days. <laughs> oh, yes, sun's out. Please stay out, son. Ooh, okay. Well, this is more promising. That right there is the imprint from an ammonite. So, mm, nothing in there, but again, I see fish scales, so that is encouraging. Oh, that sun feels so much better. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, I cannot stress enough how much better that feels. Yeah, seeing lots of fish scales, so that's a good sign. Huh. Well, I'm gonna keep poking around. Um, if nothing else, I honestly might just grab some material that looks promising and we'll take it back to the shop to work on it. Cause I do not know how much longer my hands are gonna hold out. All right guys, that is incredible. Look at that plate of fish scales. Wow, that is too cool. Oh, there's the negative. Sweet! Well, that'll have to come with. That's awesome. Those are some cool trace fossils. Man, not really finding much in the way of ammonites, but the fish scales are sure nice. Oh gosh, and I drop it. <laughs> it's alright, it's still fine. There's an ammonite. It's kind of a cross section, but hey, it's still progress. <laughs> Man, this sucks. It keeps getting like little sunny windows and then there's like little moments where the wind goes away and it's actually nice out, but it's real cold. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I think that's a good one. Lots of, oh yes, sweet. Here, if I can get it in the, actually, duh, I'm on my GoPro. There's no way you're gonna see that, but there is actually a really nice ammonite right there and you can actually see the sutures. That's pretty awesome. Well, sweet. Son, stay out, please. Okay, I just found another, so this might be a good seam to search. And what I'm looking for specifically are those fish scales. All right, I'm sitting down. Because those fish scales, when they're in high numbers like that, means that this is a death plate. <laughs> I sent Wild Kyle some of those and referred to them as death plates, and I got a whole bunch of people teasing me about it. The death plate is just a layer where a bunch of animals were fossilized all in that one layer in the rock. So when you get into it, it's usually like a conglomerate with a bunch of fossils because it's like one generation all in one layer. So yeah, that's that's what a death plate is. <laughs> so that right there is an ammonite. And before, I would not be able to do anything with that. Oh gosh, I'm sliding. All right, I've created some marginally better footing. So. Normally, I would not have been able to do anything with that because it's very covered and these are incredibly thin and fragile, but I have a tool now that will allow us to do something with that because that looks like it could be a nice one. I'm not sure. Probably about, I don't know, like that. <laughs> I just set my hand on this ammonite without even realizing it. Cool. That'll be an easy one to, to clean up. Let's look at those. I have a good feeling, because that's three we found right in this little down spot. So. Oh my gosh, do you see it? <laughs> this is the real test of how hard it is to hunt here sometimes. Do you see it? All right. <sighs> that is beautiful. Look at you. Oh, sweet. Cool, going in the pocket. Oh, that sun. Looks like it's gonna stay out, which makes me so happy because it's so much nicer now. Oh my goodness. I honestly was about to throw in the towel when we first got here. It was not pleasant when we first got here. There's another one. I mean, we're not really finding big ones today, but hey. You know, ammonites in any form, shape, or size are a win in my book, so. Dude, that's another one. Okay, yeah, we are, I, I honestly am gonna go down and empty my pockets into a pile because, oh! 
Oh my gosh, you guys. I gotta get up here. I gotta get up here. Look at it. Oh, the negative. Look at that. All right, yep, we found the pocket. You see that thing staring back at me? Ooh, it's still got some sutures. Look at you. Cool, cool. Oh, totally worth braving the cold, honestly. Eh. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna stay, but I can't leave right after finding that good seam, you know? You know what I'm saying? All right, I see something potentially amazing. No. Finding the correct footing is going to be the hard part. Oh gosh, as I tumble backwards. That would not be fun on this hill. Oh, it's so much bigger than I was expecting. Okay, um, do I really want to haul this big block out for that weathered ammonite? Eh, probably not. Probably not, I have better ones and I could probably find better ones. I don't feel like breaking this apart. That was a nice one. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna throw in the towel. Not because we're not, oh gosh, sorry, I almost dropped my camera. Not because we're not finding stuff, but because it's getting dark, it's getting cold, and I'm about to go on vacation in like four days, so I do not want to get sick right now. So <laughs> I'm gonna go take a warm shower, kind of, oh, that's heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking. Look at how big that one was. Just my hand, for example. That was a really big one. Oh, dude, that rough. That's rough. That's super rough. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to get everything loaded up. And yeah, I'll see you all later. Back at the shop. And we'll go through everything. Alrighty, well, we are back, and I will get close-ups on everything in just a minute, but first, I've got to know if this is a good one or not. <laughs> I've got it pretty well stabilized. I've got this here, just in case I need to do it more, but yeah, I I want in that thing. I want to see how nice that is, because it could be really nice, so let's find out. I'm gonna get better shots of this once we go over to my other bench with better lighting, but the scribe is not only awesome for like defining them, like actually excavating them, but then I can go dig them down so that they stand out better. My lighting is awful in this bench, but yeah, again, we'll get better shots in a minute. You know, I don't have any others from that trip that are worth, you know, using the scribe, but I might go downstairs and grab out some I actually just went and grabbed a couple other pieces. Uh, let's see what else they may be hiding. This one had a really good one, so I'm curious to see if there's any more in that block. So yeah, let's just get into it. I am done prepping for the day. So let's take a look at some of the ones we found and then I'll get some close-ups on the ones I prepped. Alrighty, there's some really nice ones in here, but <laughs> there's a reason I'm showing these before the ones we prepped because they kind of pale in comparison now. Yeah, they're, you know, pretty cool. This one's a little busted, but still a nice one. Uh, this one actually still has some sutures. You can see on that one, kind of right there. That's really cool. And this one, we were lucky to get both halves on that, especially because we didn't split it. <laughs> this one, it's funny, I actually picked it up because of this little one right here. 
and totally didn't even notice the bigger one right next to it. That's awesome. And some fish scale. And this is a nice little one right there. Again, still has some shell intact. Cute little one right here. And this was probably our nicest one right here. And um, if I get a strong overhead light, you might be able to see some of those sutures, but that is this one right here. And I might go in and prep this side a little bit more because it's a little bit covered up, but yeah, good ammonites. And this one right here. So yeah, not too shabby, considering we didn't really do any splitting whatsoever. Again, I say, <laughs> they pale in comparison to the ones that we prepped, so yeah, there's three really nice ones overlapping on this. And I like that I can actually get down around it with the scribe without hurting them, because actually, you know, I might you might be able to see the, yeah, you can see the shadows better if I do that. So yeah, three nice ones right there, but uh, they don't even compare to these ones. Um, actually, one sec. So with this one, the reason I really, really wanted to prep this one is because I got this really nice one out right there and kept seeing all these little imprints on the bottom side. So if we get closer up in there, you can see there's a really nice one right here. Another one next to it, another one right there, another one down here, and there's a bunch of fragmented ones throughout the rest of the piece, but man, these little ammonites are like not possible to prep and <laughs> with the stuff that I had beforehand, so being able to get in at that many of them is just so cool. And they're actually a lot nicer than I ever gave them credit for. They're not bad at all. And then uh, this would be our nice one. Really nice ammonite right there. Nice one above it. Imprint right there. But then I was really shocked at the size of this one down here. And another one here. And I don't know, somewhere in here there's another one. <laughs> but yeah, I was pretty dang happy about that. Not too bad. Oh, they're so cool. And I have a bunch more of these that I am going to prep. So. Now I am super excited to get back over there because I, yeah, did not give them the credit they deserve when you actually come in and prep them like that. These are some really nice little ammonites. Oh, that's awesome. Alrighty, well, that was a fun and easy little video. <laughs> Sorry if this one's shorter than normal. Um, I'm trying to just get as much stuff done as possible before I leave in three days. So, <laughs> yeah, that's why this one is a little bit more simple. But, um... We'll be going back to that spot for sure, especially now that I know that I can prep them with that scribe, because yeah, they're actually a lot nicer than I ever gave them credit for. So I definitely want to get back over there. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite, and like the video if you think I earned it. Also subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, because we A, do a lot of it, but B, we've got some really cool stuff that's going to be coming very, very soon from the trip. I'll have links to my uh, store, my Instagram, and my Facebook group up in the description. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoy and uh, enjoyed past tense <laughs> and look forward to some very awesome uh, content from Florida coming soonish. I don't know when this video is coming out, so anywhere between tomorrow and two weeks. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time.